Hi, I'm Steve with Flex Visual Reinforcement Audiometry, and today I want to show you the Flex Basic VRA and show you how it's different than our traditional full-featured Flex VRA. The Flex Basic was designed to operate similar to that of a traditional toy system. So if you're familiar with traditional toys, that normally consists of obviously a toy inside of a box that's 6 to 12 inches, and they fall in a price range that's half that of a video VRA system. So to meet these basic features of a traditional toy system, we narrowed our stimulus options down to one stimulus, which would be a video of a puppet. We took our display down from a 15 inch on your full featured flex to a 10 inch on your flex basic. And in doing this allowed us to offer that flex basic at a price point more than half the price of that full featured flex VRA. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like real quick. So here you have our 10 inch flex basic monitor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it real quick. So this is just our traditional stimulus with no animated light border. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just press the, the yellow button below toy and I'll activate that light border. Another feature we put on here that's um, also available on your Flex VRA, your traditional Flex VRA, is we kept the distract feature on there. So if you bring a patient in and you wanna do otoscopy, OAE, or tympanometry and keep them still, you still have that feature available here on your Flex Basic. Put your remote off to the side, and then when you're done, you can turn that stimulus off. And then as you can tell, every Flex Basic comes standard with sound. So we have full volume controls, just like you do on your Flex VRA, um, which gives, means you can have volume up, volume down to tailor that volume. And you also have mute and unmute if you don't want sound on a particular patient. So to recap all this, essentially what you're not getting on your Flex Basic that you are getting on your Flex VRA is you do not have the ability to upload custom content. Um, there are not multiple stimulus options, so cartoons, toys, and animals. You do not have that. You just have the puppets to show. And then, obviously, we do not have a 15-inch screen. We have a 10-inch viewing display. The ideal candidate that I'd recommend the Flex Basic to would be a clinic that maybe has a small booth, so 4x6 six to 6x6 six six max, um, a low pediatric population, but still wanting to have the ability to do VRA testing. And then obviously, if you just don't have the funds to get a full featured Flex VRA, the Flex Basic would make a lot of sense. If you did have a larger booth or you did have a high pediatric population, you would definitely want to go ahead and opt for that full featured Flex VRA as those larger monitors and those multiple stimulus types will be very helpful when testing those pediatric patients. So that's it for the Flex Basic BRA. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we look forward to talking to you. Thanks.